Hi everyone. Um, this is my second time trying to record this video, so hopefully this works this time. Sorry, I'm trying to look in the mirror and make sure I don't look crazy. <laughs> um, I just wanted to make a quick video about my LASIK eye surgery experience. Um, it was, uh, well today is July the 10th, 2011, um, and I had my surgery yesterday, which was July 9th. Um, and let me just say, before my LASIK, um, my prescription was 2400 So you know the chart <laughs> that they have you read the lines? All I could see and barely could see was the huge E at the top, okay? And it, that was blurry without my glasses, okay? This is <laughs> an example of how thick my lenses are, okay? It's hard to be cute and sexy with those thick lenses. <laughs> Um, I mean, you know, I thought my glasses were cute, but now, yeah, like, look through them. They're, that's crazy. Look how little my eyes look. <laughs> okay, that's not why I'm making this. Anyway, um, but I went today for my, you have to go the, after the next day for, like, your post-op visit, and today my vision is 2015. That's 21 and then a 5. I cannot believe it. I was 2400. Four zero zero in both of my eyes yesterday, and today I'm 2015. Um, even just driving this morning to the doctor, I had an appointment at 720. I, it was amazing. I just couldn't believe that I could read the street signs. I mean, I just I'm seeing clearer now than I was with my glasses. Um, I could just see like parts of trees and things that I just never saw before and it's really just kind of mind-boggling and um it's just amazing that God allows people to create such things um to improve our life satisfaction so I just wanted to say that um because I really am grateful and unless you've had such bad poor vision you wouldn't really understand because it's going from everything being blurry to everything being like crystal clear and sharp um and it's amazing because my eyes are a little hazy not very much like i can't really tell because my eyes are so terrible <laughs> um but it, it, i don't know like i'm seeing better than i've ever seen like it's just crazy just looking up through around my bathroom right now um but anyway um i was really nervous about it and that's what made me make this video because I am like a super duper punk, okay? <laughs> I don't like needles. Like, I cry like a big baby and I'm 27. <laughs> um, it's embarrassing because I can't help it. Like, I just get so anxious and I start crying and, I, you know, my body gets rigid. It's terrible. <laughs> um, so, I'm a super duper punk. So, I just wanted to make this video for other people who were considering it um, because it was painless okay and i'm not exaggerating i'm not exaggerating at all um i watched some of the youtube videos and other things that i found online about it um to see people's like real life experiences because i i was just kind of interested to see what was going to happen they showed me an animated version at the doctor's office when i went for my consultation um but it, it's not the same you know seeing it actually done on someone's eye and basically what they do is, well, first, they basically tell you that there will be pressure, but no pain, okay? So the first thing they do is give you numbing drops in your eye, and that basically, like, numbs the colored part of your eye, so the brown part of my eye. Um, that's what he told me. He said, just numbs that part, so your eyelids, everything else is not numb, you know, because some people on their video said they freaked out because they didn't think they would have sensation, um, but, you know, it only numbs the brown part of your eye, okay? Um, after they do that, he, well, really before they did that, I was there for about an hour and a half. Um, you go in, they recheck your vision just to verify what, what's clearest for you. Make sure that there haven't been any changes since your consultation. Um, you know, you pay, <laughs> um, put the numbing drops in, go over stuff. When I say I was in the laser room for 10 minutes maybe tops like it was quick like so fast um it was so funny because at the end i was like okay well where where do you want me to go now he was like you can go home <laughs> he's like you're done and i was like really that was quick 
And um, so it was just amazing. So anyway, back to what I was saying. They check my vision. They put the numbing drops in my eye. And basically what they do is they create a flap on your cornea, okay? So that's the color part of your eye, okay? They create a flap. If you think of it like, um, think of it like, if you're opening a can, okay, with a can opener. So you know how you have your can. You might open like all of this part, but you leave part of it attached so you can kind of flip it back and, you know, you don't have the, the top of it loose and just falling. So that's what they do, basically. They create a flap on both eyes, um, and then they move the flap back. And then this part was um, really good that I checked some other videos out because some people said like this is when things blacked out and I really freaked out so having other people's experiences kind of gave me a variety of things to expect um when they pull my flat back I didn't um well I'm sorry let me take a step back when they're creating the flap they um tell you you might feel some pressure because they put a little suction ring on your eye so it doesn't move while the laser is creating the flap now my surgery was all laser i didn't have the microkeratome or whatever which is a little thing that um it has a very thin blade in it i didn't have that one mine was full laser um so i don't know how this compares to the one that actually uses the blade um, but they put the little suction ring and he's like, you know, you might feel some pressure. You might feel some pressure. When I say I felt little to no pressure during the entire thing, like seriously, super duper punk right here. I didn't feel anything. <laughs> okay. Um, I was, he just, you know, he was very calming th through the whole thing. He was just telling me to breathe. Like you're doing great Latoya. You know, he was just really like cheering me on and made me, you know, feel really good. Cause I didn't feel any pain and it just, once I realized there wasn't any pain, <laughs> I started to relax um, during the procedure. Um, so anyway, they do the they do the cornea flap. They pushed it, you know, pulled it to the side. And the way they do that is um, there's like a little instrument that re-wets your eye during the procedure, okay? And it kind of, it looks, if you see it on videos, it looks scary, okay? It looks like it may be painful or hurt or whatever. But it didn't, okay? Um, he did, It was just something kind of like waving in front of my eyes so he could identify where the flap was. And then they just push it to the side, okay? Then he moved me to the other machine. That's where the laser actually reshaped my cornea. So the, the whole thing with LASIK surgery is that they're reshaping your cornea. So I was myopic or nearsighted. Um, and that means that my curve was too steep. So it was, it protruded too much, okay? Um, so basically they flattened it to a more natural shape and now I'm able to see. Um, because the reason why you have nearsighted and farsightedness is that um, your eye, where like depending on how far or close your eye protrudes will depend on the point in the back of your eye that the images are kind of like sent to. So mine was too far, so I was nearsighted. If it's too flat, then you're farsighted. Um, and, you know, you can get more information about that online or whatever. But, so basically they kind of flatten mine out a little bit. And I had a little bit of a astigmatism in my left eye. Um, so, you know, whatever they did with that, I don't know. I don't remember. But um, it was very slight. But now today I'm seeing 2015. Um, when they did the laser, everybody in the video said like, oh, you smell like this stuff burning or whatever and I was like man that's kind of gross like I don't want to smell my eye burning like you know that's kind of like freaky you know and um I'm sorry my nose is running <laughs> I'm like you know that sounds kind of gross you know and um but like it does you can smell something burning but you know how you kind of turn a machine on and it kind of smells like it's burning just because it's running. That's kind of what it smelled like. It didn't smell like my flesh was burning or anything like that. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't like nasty or gross. And in my mind, I was like, oh my God, you can smell your eye burning. That is totally disgusting. Like that's so nasty. And it just wasn't like, I felt probably the most pressure throughout the whole thing. 
I don't even know. Like, even when they put the eyelid openers, I was terrified of that. Because I'm like, my eye doesn't stretch naturally like that. I mean, I felt nothing, guys. Like, it's amazing. And, you know, I just thank God for that because I was so anxious. And my mom and my aunt were praying for me um, because, you know, my vision was so bad. And I was really dedicated um, and committed to getting this surgery. I've been thinking about it for years, but you know, now it's just kind of like presented itself as a time where I was able to actually afford it. Um, and I, I don't know, I'm just so grateful and I'm not crying. <laughs> it's just hot in here, <laughs> but, um, yeah. So anyway, they do the laser, put your flat back on, they re-wet your eyes, they give you numbing drops throughout, um, and then they gave me a Tylenol. Well, actually, at the very end, he, you know, told me, he helped me stand up. And I was like, okay, well, where do you want me to go now? And he was like, you can go home. And I was like, oh, wow, that's it? Like, I was in the laser room for 10 minutes. I couldn't, it couldn't have been more than 10 minutes. Um, and it was so quick that my mother was talking to the lady at the front desk. She didn't even realize that they had started. And she was going to come and try to look at it. <laughs> and by the time she realized it, I was walking back out the room. Um, so it was amazing how fast and how painless it was. Now, afterwards, they did give me a Tylenol PM. I took it right after the surgery, um, because basically you need to sleep for about four to six hours because as the numbing drops wear off, your eyes are going to have kind of like a scratchy, irritated feeling. Um, and I mean, the Tylenol PM kind of like knocked me out. <laughs> I was asleep by the time I got home, but that it was irrit it was irritating. I'm not gonna say it was painful, um, but my eyes were really irritated. Like I felt like I had sand or something in them, um, or like I had scratched my eye or something. Um, but I got home, I ate a little something like real small just so I could go to sleep um, and not wake up from being hungry or anything like that. And I mean, I probably got home around 11. And because my mother may stop people, mm, they don't care about what you're going through. But anyway, <laughs> um, I probably got home around 11 and I probably like slept on and off until about five or six. So, I mean, I slept good. Um, I did keep kind of waking up and going back and forth because it was a weird feeling. And they give you these like funky goggles to wear. I'm supposed to have them on now. Shh, don't say but I didn't want to make the full video with them because they look really goofy. Don't they? Let me straighten them in the mirror. <laughs> Don't they look goofy? Anyway, I'm sure this video is getting way too long. So anyway, um, it was scratchy, irritating, but they give you all of these drops. And you have to do it every four hours the day of the surgery and four times a day for the week after. Um, and then you have to use the re-wetting drops like eight to ten times a day um, for like the first month. So it gets to be a lot of drops, but they tell you, even if you don't feel dry, like your eyes don't feel dry, use the rewetting drops because it helps your eyes heal faster. Um, and this morning, I just thank God I had no infection. I have a little spot. I don't know if you guys can see a little red spot on my eye, like under my where my pupil is. Um, but that's about it. And I mean, they said that's normal. So, you know, it's nothing, it's not painful. My eyes don't hurt at all today. Like really yesterday, like around 8 p.m., I didn't feel anything. Like for a while, it felt like I had an eyelash in my right eye, um, but my left eye was like a super duper trooper. Like my left eye was like, I'm fine. You know, <laughs> like it didn't itch, it didn't scratch. It was mainly my right eye that gave me um, the hard time. Um, and not really even a hard time. It was just more irritated or whatever. Sorry guys, it's hot in here. Um, and then they give you like these sunglasses that kind of wrap around so that things can't fall in. So if you go outside, they tell you to wear these for the first 48 hours um, instead of wearing like your own sunglasses. But I'm actually going somewhere today. So <laughs> I think I probably wear, I have a few glasses that are kind of thick like this around. So I guess that should support me. I don't know. We'll see. But um, that's about it. I just wanted to encourage anybody who was thinking about it to just, you know, go for it. Um, LASIK Plus was great. The price, um, it's kind of steep.
the original price, I think it was like $4,300. Um, but because of my insurance, I got a 15% discount. And then I got my LASIK within two weeks of my consultation. So then I got an extra um, 5%. So in total, I got 20% off. Um, and my total for everything 